Hi, in this video I'm gonna show you a quick demo of how to perform RAG with document highlighting. This was a request from one of my long-term supporters of this channel. The idea behind this is that you don't just provide an answer from the LLM based on the information of the documents, but you also don't show just the chunks. But you show the user the complete document with the relevant parts of the answer highlighted. I'm gonna show you a quick proof of concept for that. So if you want to follow along, please open the highlight underscore rack iPython notebook, link to the notebook is in the description. And first we're gonna load the OpenAI API key. And then here we've got a dragons.pdf. So this is a fictional text, like let's say 1000 words about uh, dragons. And we want to highlight the relevant chunks being used in an answer and uh, want to show the complete PDF to the user. So how can we do that? First, we're gonna have to load the PDF with a data loader. Langchain provides a PI PDF loader, so we can use that loader to load every page of the PDF in memory. If you're gonna use that, then we can see our dragons.pdf file has got three pages. And for every page, we get exactly one document. If you have a look at that, we can see producer, so this is an Adobe PDF service, and so on and so on, creation date, but uh, very important here, we can see total pages three. Here we've got page zero, so index starts with zero. Then we've got page one and we got page two. We also got some other metadata, but yeah, that's the most relevant part. And also the page content is very important. Okay, so now we got the original documents, but now we want to create smaller chunks from that documents. So we can use a text splitter. I use the recursive character text splitter and we're gonna chunk our text, so each page, into a chunk of 100 tokens. So we're gonna use that, and then we use the text splitter where we pass in pages, and now we get smaller chunks. So if you have a look at that, you can also see that the length of the chunks should be much more. So we've got 134 documents now. Okay, so we can see that the source of that documents or of the chunks is the dragons.pdf. So this is how we're gonna reference each chunk to a, a original document. The relevant information, like I said, is in the page content. So here we can see that is the text. So the first chunk is just a brief introduction to dragons. Okay, so now we're gonna create a function. As you can see, there's quite a lot of stuff going on. So what's happening here? we want to provide a list of documents. So if we get an empty list from the retriever, then we just return from that function and we don't do anything. Otherwise, we're gonna check that source attribute, like I said, this is here. And what we're going to do is that we now know the PDF path. So that's the, let's say dragons.pdf. And we want to return a new document with that original path and make an underscore highlight behind that. So we got a new document and we don't overwrite the original one. And then we're gonna save that here as new document. Now comes the most important part, the highlighting. So we're gonna open the PDF and we're gonna check the documents page content. So for each chunk, we're gonna check that. So we iterate over every document that we pass. And this is now the text that we want to highlight in the document. And how can we do that? We first have to search in each page for that text. And if we've got a match, then we want to use that add highlight annotation for that specific match. And we do that for every, for every chunk. And at the end, we got a complete document and we're gonna save that in a new path. So let's create that function. I'm gonna show you that. And in this case, we just make a little bit of a dummy call. We provide as documents the first two chunks. And now we can see highlights are saved in that dragons highlight PDF. So these are the first two chunks. And this is the way that we highlighted it. Okay, so this is how it works in the most basic workflow. Let's now use that in a rack pipeline. Okay, so now let's store our documents in a vector store. We're gonna use Chroma for that. And we use the from documents method from Chroma, pass the chunks and pass an embedding function. I'm gonna use OpenAI embeddings for that. We also gonna make that a retriever after storing the documents. And then, yeah, that's the object that we're gonna use to retrieve the document. Now, next step is that we create a chain. So we're gonna create a rack chain by using Langchain Hub. So we're gonna download a rack prompt and we're gonna use the prompt in combination with an instance of chat OpenAI. So very basic rack chain. 
Okay, first we have to load that, of course, and then we can call that code. Okay, so next step is that we create an agent. So I'm going to use Langref for that. This agent is very basic. We've got an agent state, which is messages. This is where we store all, all of the messages, messages that we use. And we're going to store the documents. So that's the documents that we retrieve from the vector store. We've got two functions, retrieve, where we pass the last message. We're going to pass that to the retriever, where we use the invoke method. And we're going to update the state by overriding this in the documents key. We're going to return a new state. And then we're going to also use this generate answer function. We got the questions, we've got the documents, which we extract from the state object. And we're going to use the rec chain where we pass this as dictionary. So we're going to pass documents and we pass the question. We then going to create our workflow. So we create a new graph by using state graph, we pass the agent state and then we add our nodes, retrieve node for the retrieval step. We pass then our edges from retrieve, we go to generate answer. So we only want to generate an answer after we get the documents and then we are done. Okay, entry point is retrieved. So that's a very, very, very basic uh, graph. So this is how it looks like, only one directional retrieve, generate answer and okay, let's try it out. So we can see we can use this invoke method where we pass a human message. What information do you have about red dragons? So this is something that should be retrieved from the vector store. We can see human message and the answer is this blood red scales and eyes. So this is retrieved from the vector store. And now let's see where this actually was found. Okay, so we created a new dragons highlighted txt and here we can see this is the part where the information was retrieved and this was used by the LLM to create a human like answer. So if you want to use that in a user interface, most browsers are able to display as PDFs natively. So integrating that into a real application is actually quite easy. So I really hope you liked this proof of concept and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye bye.